Let's talk about what else is in the Senate bill. Obviously, House and Senate Republicans are going to be reconciling their competing tax bills beginning tonight. Uh, lawmakers are hopeful that they can make this uh, law this month. Watch this. We could have this on the president's desk within 10 days. If you look at the House and Senate bill, both of us are pretty close on that. When you look at the differences, they're not that big, uh, but there are key significant differences that the House and Senate need to work out. So there's this. There's also the AMT, which you mentioned a minute ago as right. well. What, what's your take on what this final plan will look like? I, I agree that I don't think the Senate bill and the House bill are that far apart. But the AMT, frankly, was a surprise to me. And, and that's something that I think may come out in, in conference. The, you know, the, the AMT the, the, was, uh, keeping the AMT in there, that was a last minute change yep. that happened on Friday. And I would argue one of the reasons that Senate Republicans did it is because you, uh, high income people in high tax states, New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, and California, they weren't actually getting to take advantage of the state and local tax deduction anyway. It was kicking them over into AMT. So they get rid of the state and local tax deduction, and they're like, we're just going to keep your taxes as high as they were. Right. And I got a text message from one of my oldest friends in New York City, and he said, I'm finally thinking about leaving New York. Yeah, I know. Uh, a right. lot of people are. It's, it's, it's really a reality. Well, I mean, the fact, the, the, your taxes are going up so much as, as a result of the elimination of that deduction, and now the Senate not repealing the entire AMT. This was the pushback from the leadership when there were complaints about the SALT deduction going away. They, I mean, Kevin McCarthy was on this program mm -hmm. saying, well, that's okay, you get hit with the AMT and we're repealing the AMT. Well, now what? Now what's right. the Right, answer? and I, I'll point this out to Mitch McConnell. Individual taxes are going up on many Americans in high-tax states. In the House, we talk about the differences. There's that 45.6% bubble rate that the House inserted into that bill. But that was taken out. The The... It's still in the, in the House bill. In, in the House bill. It, that that it's, bubble rate it's, is still it's, it's in the not, House bill. It's not in the Senate bill. And that's it's one not of the in the Senate bill, but it is in the, the House bill. Right. Wow. So right. they've got to come together on that. 38.5% is the top tax rate in, in the Senate bill. They're not cutting taxes on people but who make a lot of money. They, they, what they're states. thinking is those are all in blue states, and we don't have those votes exactly. anyway. Took the words right out of my mouth. There's no Republican senators in any of those states. Well, but you know what? There are Republicans who live in those states. So good luck with that. This They've is a really passing important passing conversation. You're absolutely right. Meanwhile, the government funding is set to expire at the end of the week on Friday. Right. Uh, throw that into this. Republicans need Democrat support to pass a funding bill in the Senate. What happens there? Uh, well, I mean, there, there's a lot of variables there that, that could trip that up. They're looking to do just a two-week bridge right now to get them to close to, close to Christmas. Uh, there, there's a lot of variables about what are they about whether the Democrats demand something on the dreamers in that bill, whether they do something on child's uh, health insurance. So that's a real wild card. We could see a, sh a shutdown in the next few weeks, but some people think the president wants to see a shutdown. He thinks they, they think it'll help him. Politically. Well, I mean, look, it, it will basically tell people who is governing and who isn't governing in terms of both sides. Phil, Meanwhile, markets are up 200 points right now. Well, because the, the, we've spent a lot of time talking about what's going on on the personal side. I think the key issue is what's going on on the corporate side. Yes. That's what's driving this. Our corporate tax rate, federal level, 35 percent, statutory 39. It's the highest corporate tax rate in the world. The, 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 uh, the, the, the global average is around 24 percent. So if you can bring that level down into that 20 to 25 percent neighborhood and, and, and fix the inversion problem, that becomes a significant deal where you can talk about taking GDP growth run rate from 2 percent up to 3 percent. We've seen that over the last couple of quarters, and I think that's what the market's excited about, right. the sustainability of a 3 percent plus GDP rate. Phil, yeah. the, the president said this weekend that he, he could accept a 22 percent rate right. on the corporate rate instead of a 20 percent tax rate. That was a little bit of a walk back for him. Does the market care if it's 20 percent, 22 percent, 25 percent? Let's make a deal. Uh, I thought the president was going to start with 15 and be willing to negotiate up. He put down a 20 percent marker, which was a little higher than I thought. But as long as we can get 
somewhere within that 22 to 25 percent neighborhood. The market's fine with that because that puts us in line with the world and eliminates the inversion problem, which was which was because our rates were simply too high before. Are we going to get a big sell-off when this gets done? Is, is this one of those by, by the rumor, rumor sell-off? Sell yeah. that, 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 that's a good question. I don't know because you've got other issues that are going on here. The Flynn thing. You've got the Roy Moore election coming up in in, in probably about 10 days or so. And so, you don't have the the final bill. On we don't have the final test. bill. So by the way, the market sold off on Friday because of that erroneous Brian Ross That's report that he's right. been suspended for. So Four let's weeks. let's be clear about right. that. Yeah, initially, and, and it just shows you what the markets think. The markets think no collusion. And Friday we get this surprise report from ABC that suggests that the president spoke to uh, Flynn to direct him to Russia before the election. And then, of course, we learned that this was in December after the election. So the, the, the network has to come out correct and then suspend Brian Ross. And Brian Ross is on the beach for incorrect reporting. Yeah, four weeks. Phil, thank you. Thank you very Great much. Great insights for having me. from you as always, Phil Orlando there.